Hi, Mark. Hello. So, just got in last night. Yep. And, uh, Mark, why don't you tell everybody what we're doing today? Uh, well, it's going to be the surprise for the kids. Uh, Denise already knows I'm here. She picked me up last night. But uh, we're going to bring the girls in, and uh, they're, they're going to be under the impression that there's, you know, they're filming stuff for the, for the store, and uh, they're going to go pick out their video just like they normally do. We're in here quite often, so uh, they're going to go through their normal routine, and towards the end, we'll go ahead and uh, set up for the surprise. Uh, you'll you'll lead in uh, and ask them if they met their uh, met your new employee, and that's what we'll come out. And how are we feeling right now? Excited. Excited. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see it blossom. So we'll see how everything works out. Now, how long has it been since you've seen the girl smart? Uh, since May, first part of May. Uh, see him all the time on the internet, though, so the niece keeps me really, uh, really up to speed with the pictures and stuff. Awesome. Well, it's wonderful to have you home. We look forward to seeing you uh, reunite with your girls. Absolutely. Okay, so have you guys met my new employee though? I have a new employee. Have you met him? No. No? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
guys smell so good. Is that really cute? Yeah. <laughs> so what movie did you get? <laughs> oh my god. Outstanding. Did you miss me? Yes. I missed you a lot. I missed you. So go for a group hug. One part more. You're not too mad at me, are you? No. No. Let's go to mini fibs. Yep. Kara, who is that? My daddy. Your daddy? Where'd daddy come from? Um, I forgot. Where's daddy been? Um, Has daddy been in Iraq or Afghanistan? Um, both. He's been in both? Did you know daddy was coming today? Yeah, no. Are you, are you excited? Yes. Are you? Nick, are you surprised? Very. Very surprised. <laughs> Becca, how's it feel to have Dad home? It's so wonderful. <laughs> when we were going to have Daddy say, well, um, I forgot every day, but Becca was going to cry because she didn't know if he wasn't going to come. Oh. But he did come. He did <laughs> come. And now he's home for good? Are you so excited? <laughs> so Denise, how's it feel to have your family back? Oh my gosh, wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah, wonderful. Mark, how's it feel to, to see your girls? Awesome. 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 Are you sure I'm not dreaming? It's good to have the gang back together. Okay, shall I continue? <laughs> Oh, 
uncles, uncle. Uh, I just got back this morning from training, so caught her completely off guard. Um, matter of fact, it's a little bit past noon. My flight touched down at like 9.30. I just got back. That's so, pretty cool. Um, well, that's good that you came here. Caught her off guard. We're back on this Thursday. It's 5.30, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla's seen her in person. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, you too. Her mom, Lisa Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small tracks, small tanks, but I mostly cross trained into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time Dad. seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. Want to roll her over so she doesn't get mad in her? Roll her over so she doesn't get mad. Which one? 
Oh, Olivia. Oh. Who's getting and, mad? Anna's like, I'm rolling over to you. <laughs> Two babies. Just call me Angel in the morning, babe. What's the door? sense of pride in me, you know, that I was able to do this for, but at the same time, you know, just a lot of anticipation and anxiety because uh, I can't wait to see her reaction to this. In November, as soon as I walked in the door, I loved the house right away. He was kind of like down and out because he was like, you know, I think that house is going to come through. And he didn't really give me, a, you know, reasons why. I just was like, okay, it's okay, you know, I'm sure we'll find something else. But inside I was like, oh, the house is so beautiful. And so I just felt like we were just still house searching. The day came. <laughs> he just tell me a story like Jill just called me and she said that um, you know that house we went to see it didn't go through with the um, buyers and um, she told us to come look at it. As I walked my wife up to the house, I was still kind of nervous because uh, it was still big for me and it hasn't sank in and, and, and might not you know, sink in for years and years to come now. I came in and he told me to look at this um, certificate that was on the counter. It was just like, you know, this is your house and they had the address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> No. This. <laughs> oh my god. I am surprised when I shouldn't have been because when this man gets his mind set on something, it's done. No clue whatsoever. I just thought, well, we love the house and. I'm sure we'll find another one, but this was the house that when we first came in, I just just fell in love with it. And it just I'm so happy right now. Veterans United laid out the steps uh, for home ownership. Just, I mean, it was just seamless. Uh, you know, through each process, you know, there was someone that actually, you know, facilitated my way along the process and just made everything so easy. Wow. I'm definitely indebted to uh, Veterans United Home.
I mean, I'm surprised, but I, I mean, I shouldn't because he's always surprising me with things. But this one was a really big one. He pulled it off. I would never forget it. This is being a surprise in my life.